If parathesia are wetted by rain, the tube-like assay swell. As they're ejected from bursting assay, the ascospores are taken up by air currents. Thus they're carried directly to the heads and the anthers. Here, like the conidia, the ascospores quickly germinate. Starting from the anthers, the hyphae often develop toward the filaments to which the anthers are attached. And along these, penetrate deep into the interior of the wheat floret, passing the remnants of the stigma and the style. Meanwhile, development of the kernel has already begun. From an infected filament, hyphae can spread to the seed coat, the pericarp. The hyphae penetrate into the outer cells of the endosperm. Right now, in the weeks after flowering, the endosperm is being filled intensively with assimilates from the leaves. Fusarium species release a number of toxic substances from their hyphae. These mycotoxins can facilitate colonization of the plant tissue by the fungus, in this case the starch-containing storage cells. <laughs>